Hello, friend. Are you currently thinking about someone? Or do they always come to mind in the most fun way possible? When you think about them, are there butterflies in your tummy? This could be a sign that God has prepared this someone for you. As a godly person, God sets people sometimes in our hearts and that will be his will for you, for us. God could be calling you into a beautiful beginning, into a beautiful relationship. Do not be quick to brush off or be annoyed at every thought of a person that comes to your mind. Note this fact. Where there is love, there is God, for God is love. So when you can't stop thinking about someone, that could be God telling you that this is my will for you. Now, that said, we will be looking critically into this from various angles of different people and stages of life, from every walk of life and all. For the single, young ones, especially teenagers, sometimes you are crushing on people and that is the source of the incessant thoughts on this person and that could well lead into obsession. Now note this, if you are to be obsessed, then you should be obsessed about God, not man, not anyone. There's something you must know. When you become obsessed with someone, it doesn't feel like a crush anymore. It can be an addictive and destructive feeling that interferes with your ability to concentrate, deal with others, and go about your normal daily routine. This is an issue because this could further make this person a god in your life and have them compete with the place of God in your life. This is why God keeps hammering over and over in scriptures that we should watch our thoughts and guard our hearts, for out of it are the issues of life. But if it is taken over by the thoughts of one, it could be a problem to you and even your relationship with God. Crushes are common in the teenage years, but they do frequently persist well into adulthood for some. Especially if you're not able to talk to the person, ask them out, or start dating them. Some people develop crushes on others who completely disdain them. And the lack of attraction only makes the person more obsessive. Have you noticed? You start asking questions like, what can I do to impress them? Even though the answer is clearly nothing. We all want to feel attractive and like we're successful in all our efforts to find love. Even if those efforts are misguided most of the time. The question now is, what guides your desire for companionship? What attracts or affects your choice in attraction? God or God-like virtues or just your human desires? Sometimes, the people you can't stop thinking about may not be anything like you imagine them to be in reality. This is one reason why you are advised to allow God lead you. Do not pursue things that will destroy you. Allow God be the judge of people and all. If you allow God show you who this person really is, or you allow God be your focus, over time, you will come to the realization that you are in love with the idea of the person, but not necessarily the reality of who they really are. If you notice, especially as a married adult or as a young person whose focus is on God and life, that there is an attraction to someone that you do not need in your life, then call out to God and let him do the fixing. And while God is doing that for you, instead of being lost or waiting idly, which could be used by the devil to afflict you continually. Here are things you can do. Number one, find a distraction. This is important. Find a new hobby or a new interest. Take a vacation. Do something kind for the needy. Learn a new skill or something as long as it is not against your faith. In other words, Distraction is good. It is better than just sitting in a room and trying to stop thinking about a person. You ever hear the expression, 
don't think about pink elephants? What happens when you stop trying to think about pink elephants? All you can think about are pink elephants. The same goes for trying to stop thoughts about someone you are obsessed with. The more you try not to think about that person, the more you'll end up with them on your mind and in your thoughts. So turn to distractions and prayer instead. Number two, be active. An idle man is the devil's workspace. Another way to knowing how to stop thinking about someone is to be active. This way, you don't have as much time to obsess over them. The more occupied you are, the lesser your time to continue in the thoughts. So get busy. Find something that will take your mind and your time away from such thoughts. It is advised that you should not just be idle. And there's more. More things that you can do. Remember, why I said you have to trust God totally, especially with regards to your thinking about someone is so that you will be guided. God could put some people in your heart continually for you to pray for them. Other times, he put them there for you to reach out to them. I remember the story of a young lady who a young man kept pressing on in her mind. She didn't know it was the Holy Spirit. She just felt he wasn't her kind of man, so he shouldn't keep coming to mind. Yet, the thought of him lingered on. Though after a while, she had to just make up her mind to see him and get this thought of him out of her head. Because most times, therapists have noted that it is best to confront whoever it is that keeps popping to your mind so as to know how they think and just get your mind off of it. She made up her mind on that and asked around and got his address. By the time she got to his place, she knocked and knocked and knocked. Each time she wanted to leave, the Spirit of God in her will say, knock again. So she kept at it until finally she heard a voice from the inside. She heaved a sigh of relief as she waited for the door to be opened. When the door was finally opened, she saw a stunned yet sad-looking face meet her at the door. And he said hi. And she politely asked if she could come in and he said okay. Inside, she started inquiring of his well-being and all. And before she knew it, he broke down in tears, narrating to her his ordeals and his current predicaments and how she came just in time as he was about to commit suicide. She felt as tears ran down her cheeks. Was this why God had put him in her heart? She encouraged him and told him he could call her anytime and any day. She even went ahead to promise and to do things to aid his predicament. So sometimes, as a young person, the thought of that person might not have been put there for you to be infatuated. It was put there for you to pray and intercede. Yes, love is a beautiful thing and you need love in your life, but ask God. This is why God is calling your attention to this. Some of the people we ended up with and later it didn't work out and we're asking God why. The question is, did he tell you why he put that person in your thought in the first place? It might not be for you to be in a relationship with them. It was for you to pray for them, to stretch out a hand of fellowship to them. There are different reasons why God puts people in your mind. So why not ask God? and let him direct you. So, is there a thought in your mind? When you can't stop thinking about someone, God could be telling you this. So listen for what he is saying to you. God bless you. If this video has blessed you, please like, subscribe, and share with someone.